What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and today I'm back in my favorite picture taking spot with one of my favorite Lincoln Town cars. Uh, this is almost like a deja vu from two and a half years ago when I took pictures of the same car here in this same spot and I sold it that many years ago. Really, it's crazy. Uh, I'm very excited to have this one back. This is a 2004 Lincoln Town car, ultimate limited special edition and one of the nicest versions of that special edition that has probably left in existence really i don't think i appreciated this car as much as i do now when i had it back then because i've never had another one i've never had an opportunity at another one and this one when i sold it back then was an absolute gorgeous one owner oklahoma car its whole life and now it's a two owner i sold to a local customer of mine and I was very fortunate to get an opportunity to get this car back. And here it is with just 37,000 miles. Let's get in and let's take this car for another walk around tour. And let's take a look at the inside. We'll take it on the road. I'll tell you all about it. And here she is in her beautiful ceramic white pearl with a light French silk two-tone lower treatment. An absolute gorgeous color combination. I love two-tone Lincoln Town cars. Honestly, they didn't make enough of these things because the two-tone on these cars, especially in this white over uh, the, like, the cashmere color on the bottom, is absolutely gorgeous. And this car is a really special car. Um, you know, this, this special or limited package was basically a, just a trim package, uh, you know, for exterior changes and cosmetic changes. Uh, it really didn't add any, no performance or anything. It just took this ultimate which would have been the top trim town car for 2004 uh, and just brought it one step higher as far as you know being exclusive being special and having uh, amazing amazing looks uh, so the two-tone is one of the first things that you see with this car let that motorcycle go by uh, the other thing that you'll see is the chrome pillars now you think that that was something aftermarket added but no that was uh, factory chrome just like the designer series town cars you see the limited script on the rear quarter where usually you would say ultimate or cartier or signature um, they made this car i believe for two years 2004 and 2005 were the only two years that they offered this limited package uh, and this car really wears it so well uh you know a few hundred of these cars were made so to think back then how many were made versus how many exist today uh this is a pretty rare opportunity <laughs> just i love this angle of the picture or the video look at those chrome wheels just absolutely sparkle off the ground beautiful white wall tires this car is just incredible it really is so this is a very rare car rare opportunity uh and this is like i said the same car that i sold two years ago uh, right here in this same spot when I sold it two years ago. It had 32,000 miles The car was fresh out of Oklahoma. I bought it from the original owners grandson uh, Shipped the car up here. I Went through the car back then and serviced it put four brand new white wall tires on it because obviously it had black walls on it um, You know went through my normal service procedure and I sold it to a local customer Who bought it and it stayed local and I was very happy to see this car stay local and I was very happy to see it go into the hands that it went into because this customer of mine is more like a friend. Uh, he's actually the gentleman who helped me set up my merchandise store. Uh, so he's been more than just a customer to me. Uh, and I obviously stayed in touch. And here it is, the car is back in my possession. Um, so this is a really sweet treat to have this car here today, uh, to have this opportunity again. I'm going to go around this car. I'm going to show you probably the same few minor flaws that were on this car back then because he's only put a few uh, thousand miles on this car. Like I said, I sold it with 32,000 miles and now it has 37,000 miles. Um, you know, he just used it for casual, leisurely driving. Garage kept just like the original owner. Uh, kept this car in a garage and you can tell how lovingly cared for this car was throughout its whole life. Uh, my friend who owned the car, uh, he's had it ceramic coated twice 
in those two and a half years of ownership and you can absolutely feel just the absolute smoothness and perfection of this car he loved this car cherished this car uh it was just time to move on and he wanted to get something else in his garage so here it is and it's back here let's take a walk around and show you some up close details of this beautiful town car we'll start on this quarter panel here and uh we'll take our way down the side super straight down both sides uh, i had one little minor parking lot ding taken out of that rear door aside from that straight gorgeous perfect and you can't even tell that that ding was there it didn't chip it was all paintless dent repaired so look at you can see this beautiful i mean look at the metallic in this pearl this is a ceramic they call it ceramic tri-stage for ford and like i said the bottom is a light uh, french silk beautiful two-tone color beautiful set of travel star tires date coded from 2019 i had this car in early 2020 so tires are only a few years old and like i said with only a few thousand miles now very specific tires uh wheels i should say these wheels are designed for these cars this is a limited wheel so this package came with these wheels they look kind of similar to the other town car wheels but if you look closely at the details this is a very specific wheel to this car all four wheels are perfect again this car came out of oklahoma so there is absolutely no rust no pitting no corrosion no anything even thinking about starting on this car and then my friend who had it never drove it in the winter it was a summer leisurely car i took it to the golf course you know took it here and there a few uh road trips he took with it but basically it was a, a local around town leisure car no chips or dings or scratches you know all the door handles are super super clean super super nice like i said these pillars are factory installed uh you can see how they wrap around uh the pillar itself on like the door so basically they're just like the original piano style black pillars but lincoln put these on just to give it a little extra bling and you know what no stripe no lower rocker this car just looks perfect exactly the way it is we'll come down the door here again super nice buttery smooth uh ceramic coated all the mirrors come around here are in perfect shape no chips or dings or anything like that windshield is in super super nice shape no chips or uh you know road kick up on that fender here again super nice that metallic and that pearl is absolutely beautiful another beautiful uh, 17 inch 225 60 17 travel star and again just look at those wheels absolutely beautiful air conditioning you can see is working overtime headlights hid headlights are in absolutely phenomenal shape on this car a, a true testament to this car being garaged because you just you can't clean headlights to be this nice again all the grill the bright work shows that this car lived in a garage and that's really important with these cars because i've had them that they weren't garage cars and, and and they hold up well but you know little stuff starts happening a little trim work you know i've had to replace some grills on them because the chrome gets a little wrinkly or you know headlights get a little dull and you just can't polish them anymore uh beautiful paint on the hood can see the sun reflecting off that ceramic white paint that's been freshly ceramic coated i think i skimmed over the bumper i don't know why a couple bug marks on the front of the bumper nothing too crazy and i do remember this when it was here last year uh there's a, like a crack in the lower part of the bumper right here and a little bit of a chip right there uh this was repaired from like the back side reinforced uh so it's really just a cosmetic flaw couple very minor little bug marks or, or some type of I don't know etching in the paint there nothing really crazy at all little itty bitty chip right there again I think it's really just bug marks you know maybe from those Oklahoma bugs spot right there as well you know just various very very minor imperfections and again you look at that grill it's absolutely gorgeous oh my god i love nice chrome like that again another beautiful hid headlight crystal clear uh no discoloration no delamination look at that oh my god 
beautiful. No scuffs or anything like that on the corner. A very, very minor chip right there that was touched up, looks like. Yeah, look at that paint on this. Oh my gosh. I usually don't like taking pictures this time of the day, but this car is just so beautiful that the pictures just flow so nicely. Again, another beautiful Travel Star UN106. These are the white walls that I put on most of my town cars. Uh, wheel is absolutely perfect. And look at the spokes. Inside all the nooks and crannies, the center caps, you know, usually you start to see them pitting in here. Absolutely no pitting. Even, you know, as far as rust on the wheel wells, nothing on this car at all. You come down the driver's side. Again, mirror is in perfect shape. Really nothing. Tiny, itty bitty little chip right there. You know, this is all very, very, very minor stuff on this car. Roof is in beautiful shape. No sunroof in this one. Uh, it's surprising because this is an ultimate. You would have thought it would have come loaded, but the sunroof was a line item. It didn't come with a package. You know, so that was something that was ordered separately where Today's cars, you get, you know, like the sun and sound package where it comes with a upgraded radio and a sunroof. So you can't get one or the other. Back then with these Lincolns, it was one or the other, or, you know, line items, I should say. Uh, again, nice, beautiful pillars, no corrosion on these. These are kind of common um, for these Northern cars that have lived up in New England their whole lives and in the Rust Belt to start to see uh, bubbling on this. Again, these are absolutely perfect. These are aluminum pieces that are chrome plated. That's why you see the bubbling effect on them. You know, very, very minor. I don't even know if that's a chip or that's just a little scuff. Little itty bitty guy. Not even a chip, it's like a rub mark or something. One little bitty chip right there. And if you open the door, another one right on the inside. But again, look at how beautiful, how straight that is. The reflection in that paint and off the car bug again on this side perfectly straight one small spot that was touched up right there and one spot right there you know no chips on the edges of these rear doors these rear doors are real common to catch a chip right here on the edge just banging these doors into garage doors or other cars um, very limited, limited emblem. You don't see those a lot. Again, 2004 and five only for this package. Uh, take a look at this wheel here. Again, absolutely beautiful. No corrosion, no pitting, no pot marks, chunky, chunky tires. Again, just a few thousand miles of wear and tear on those tires from when I serviced it, uh, when I sold it. I did notice on the back here on this uh, this fuel filler door, it looks like a couple of little chips or something that were touched up right on that edge of that uh, fuel filler release. Come around the back here. Bumper is in really nice shape. It's got the rear parking assist sensors. The chrome is perfect. The tail lights are perfect. I mean, just super glossy, super shiny and you know, not all hazed out. Again, loved, loved, loved this car was. Rear glass is in really nice shape. Has the original North Point Lincoln Mercury uh, dealer tag on it in Pryor, Oklahoma. So this car was sold new in Pryor and it lived its entire life in Pryor up until 2000, end of 19, early 20 is when I bought this car um, from, like I said, the grandson of the original owner. All the Lincoln insignia is in really nice shape. This chrome pocket is in really nice shape. Very minor wrinkling right on this corner. Uh, the emblem shows really well. And again, just very minor spot. You kind of catch it at the right light. All this is in nice shape. The lenses are in really nice shape. Town car emblem is perfect and present. And again, no scuffs on the corners. Couple little minor little chips. <sighs> Probably from putting golf clubs or something in the back. Again, a few of them that were touched up, a few of them that look maybe a little fresher than the older ones, uh, but just a few itty bitty ones right there.
All right, I'm already running up my time on this thing. So let's take a look at the inside of this beautiful town car. If you like the outside of this two-tone town car, you're gonna absolutely love the inside because the inside is two-toned as well. And that's what makes this car even more special. This interior you could not get in another town car. You could order a regular signature series or any other trim packaged town car, I believe, in a two-tone because I've seen them before. But the interior of this car is one of this only package. I shouldn't say it like that. But anyways, let's take a look inside. And I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Let's look. And here is the inside of this super, super cool Lincoln Town Car. Now, this isn't for everybody. It's not a one color type deal, but Lincoln did a really, really nice job with the limited two-tone seats with these darker uh, brownish colored inserts on the stone gray leather. And then you have the matching script of the Lincoln Star embroidered, but it flows nicely with the two-tone dash versus the carpet, uh, nice stone gray door panels. It's just a really, really sharp combination. And I'm glad that they made it exclusive to these cars because you know, sometimes they start doing stuff like the two-tone outside treatment and it's not exclusive. And then it just kind of like nulls out and voids out the coolness of the limited package. But again, with the limited wheels, anyways, let's get a look inside. We'll start in the door jams here. You can see how clean these jams are. Absolutely perfect. You can see all the nuts and bolt heads, I should say, inside this jam. Now this, I just replaced this. I noticed as I was cleaning this car that the door sill on this side was, you know, just a little scuffed up, a little something just, you know, so I have new old stock door sills and I broke out of my new old stock inventory and I, I put this door sill in here, but I haven't peeled off the protective coating because I'm like, I'm the type of guy that gets like a new phone and keeps the protective coating on it until like I absolutely have to take it off. So I'm gonna let the next owner just bask in the glory of peeling this off at any time. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that on there for now. Um, but you can see here, all the trim on this car is really nice. Very, very minor light scratches on the wood inside there, maybe a little bit from like fingernails, but all the door poles are in nice shape. The little pop open cubby holes. All the wood is nice and shiny. The gold anodizing on the plastic handles. Again, just super, super nice. All inside the map pocket or, you know, flashlight, knickknack pocket is super clean. Carpeting is nice. Carpeting inside the car is nice. All in the high traffic areas. And again, this leather is absolutely beautiful, beautiful shape. Minor, just normal creases and, you know, normal leather wear, nice and soft. And even the darker colored inserts are just as nice. Come over to the dual opening center console all the stitching is in really nice shape flip open cup holder looks perfect and this is the 04 so 04 was the last year of this older style steering wheel 06 i'm sorry 05 they changed the uh, newer style steering wheel and then by 06 they had the wheel and the instrument cluster those are really the only differences up until like 2008 9 when i showed you in the last video they changed the door switches um, but it has a power um, Power foot pedals, automatic headlights, your dimming, uh, traction control, all that good stuff. We'll show you that in more detail in just a minute. Beautiful wood trim on the wheel. And you can, again, feel the leather, the pulp of the leather. The stitching is absolutely incredible on this car. And inside that jam, absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. See that beautiful Lincoln script. Big, bold, beautiful. The shelf is in nice shape. I think I skipped the door panel. I don't want to miss that. Beautiful door panel. Again, the poles pop these guys open. No Cheerios or bubblegum wrappers ever in the backseat of this car. Grandma definitely did not let her grandkids ride in this one. Uh, side airbags. Carpet is in really nice shape. Freshly shampooed by yours truly. And again, just like the 2009 I just had, it really didn't need to be shampooed just like the first time i had this car it was just i just had to clean it up a little bit. i had to make the lines you know the lines that are in the, the carpet to give it that fresh look 
So I just ran over it with my uh, carpet cleaner. Really, that's basically all I had to do, especially after I did it just two years ago and a few thousand miles. Again, back seat is absolutely beautiful. No scratching or any kind of damages in the leather. And that back carpeting is really nice. Lincoln door sills. During, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> door jams are beautiful. Now, even like the, the, the latches are super clean. Just like that 09, not all gummed up with grease. All the pockets, very, very minor little scuff there. jams are. I love door jams. I love clean door jams. Again, the beautiful Lincoln script. All the weather stripping is in really, really nice shape on this car as well. Dual heated seats in the front. Again, all the wood trim. I mean, it's plastic wood trim. It's, you know, artificial wood, but nice and shiny. Not all scratched up by fingernails. These little guys pop open. Again, door pulls, all the anodizing, all nice shape. Take a look at the carpeting there. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, that leather on these seats. I missed a little crumb there. Absolutely beautiful. No abnormal wear and tear. And I love these Lincoln scripts or stars, I should say, uh, embroidered into the seats. Put that open. Then you get the seat belt underneath. The dashboard. Dash is in real nice shape. Headliner, perfect. Sun visors, just as perfect. Let's take a look. We'll jump in the driver's seat and then we'll pop the hood in the trunk. Oh, she's dripping. She's dripping. That AC is working overtime. Ice, ice cold air in this car. Right, we're behind the wheel now. Uh, and this car is just absolutely amazing. It's, I mean, just looking across the dash, you can see like the gloss and the shine on like the, the wood of the, the airbag cover, you know, just the higher mileage cars just get that little scratching, you know, all the plastic of the <laughs> instrument panel. This car shows how loved it was. I mean, look at the gloss and the shine on the screens of the radio. I'm getting all worked up again. Anyways, let me show you what I got for a key situation. I have one master, one valet, two remotes. I actually do have the other master here. I'll show you that in just a minute. Put this memory seat recall 37,370 miles, almost a full tank of gas. Uh, that's how my customer brought it back to me. That's how good my customers are. Um, here is the original window sticker. Uh, I actually mentioned the key. I have the original North Point Lincoln Mercury dealer key tag. When I sold this car, it still had that and I included it. Obviously now I include my official specialty motor cars keychains. Uh, I do have another original key here, but the top head broke off. And I've seen people drill a hole in this and just like have it as a spare key, but I figured because it was a spare, it just would slip it in there. Uh, I got the key card here for the uh, keyless entry, all the books and stuff like that. Uh, but the real cool thing here is this uh, original window sticker. So you can see here, this was an ultimate four door ceramic white tricoat with uh, dark stone, medium stone leather. Uh, all the standard equipment is pretty standard across the board for the town cars. But then when you get over here to the optional, um, you can see here the ultimate package had the dual zone climate control, heated seats, rear view mirror, yada yada, sound mark, audio file, dual medium or dual MDD. I don't know what that means. Ceramic white tricoat was a no charge. Uh, front license plate bracket, no charge. HID headlights, $500. Limited edition package was $1,600. Came with uh, all season white sidewall tires, a limited edition wheels, two tone paint treatment. And then, like I said, the other stuff like the dual uh, colored interior here with the inserts. Sold new at Pryor or North Point Lincoln Mercury, Pryor, Oklahoma. Uh, I'll pop that over there for now. Let's pop the trunk. I do this all the time and I forget to take my keys. 
I don't know why, but I love showing you this trunk feature where you push the remote button uh, on the key fob twice and it opens and closes your trunk. It's super cool. Closes it, pulls it down, my license plate's loose twice, pops it. It works off the driver's door as well, but if you can't see it. Uh, but I do have all four original floor mats here, and you can see they even have the limited script on them, so they are specific to the car. Driver's side shows a little bit of dirt in the heel mark area here. Uh, rears are in really nice shape, and I even have the original prior Oklahoma North Point Ford uh, dealer tag, uh, dealer uh, license plate frame. Uh, real clean inside here. All the gasketing and everything is in really nice shape. I'm going to close this. One more time. Let's pop up to the front here. What is going on here? Where did all that dust come? Oh, look at that. <laughs> that must have been from its Oklahoma days. There's a mud wasp nest in there. How did that thing survive? Ew. I didn't even notice that in there. I must have been stuck behind this grill here. I've seen that before with these Southern cars, those mud wasps, but that survived coming up here two years ago. And then uh, it survived being in New England. Well, not survived, but stayed attached to the car. Uh, anyways, you can see, aside from a little bit of dirt from my mud wasps, how nice this underhood compartment is. Again, I can just, keep showing you these cars keep getting excited about these cars but until you see until you appreciate the cleanliness of a car like this i'm gonna just keep going at it i mean you can see how clean all the brake lines the anodizing you know the nuts bolts the fasteners these aren't rusty these are usually rusty on northern cars you know the nuts and screws it even has original markings from ford when this car went down the assembly line these little color-coded markings you know as the car went down someone was like oh, boop but you know they're still there the fact that they're still there they haven't worn away yet and i've cleaned this engine bay twice but i was probably the only one that has cleaned this engine bay uh but look at how nice all the hoses all the lines everything is underneath the hood is just as clean you can see on the block it still has the original stickers you know there's not all oil caked up and baked all over the front of it this is a really really nice car look at that would you just look at that <laughs> i still got dirt coming out of this thing that's crazy anyways let's jump behind the wheel i'm going to take this thing for a spin all right let's get going here automatic dual locks now even like the i said in the beginning part of the interior tour how nice this leather wrapped wheel are. All the buttons are in nice shape. You know, there's no abnormal wear and tear really on anything on the inside of this car. Even your ashtray and cigarette lighter are super clean. Power seat works in all directions. Gonna take it up on the highway. Oh, nice car. cruising at 67 miles per hour and she's just smooth uh, what a highway cruiser but not only a highway cruiser that's a comfort cruiser oh no hands on the wheel look ma um but just an absolute stunning looking car with the two-tone treatment the chrome wheels the white walls it really is like these are the modern day classics these are the last 
of those cars that could pull that off. I mean, I put white walls on pretty much anything I can. And some cars wear them well, some cars don't. Because, you know, you put them on like a, a newer Park Avenue. I mean, it looks good. Believe me, I do it. Le Sabres and stuff looks good. Believe me, I do it. But these cars are like the last with the Grand Marquis that could really pull off that white wall, that chrome, that, you know, just extra bit of flair. Instead of looking at all these boring ugly shit boxes driving down the road just get people from a to b simply just not fun and this car does it and it's just got that style it's got that dependability the quality build uh that's really why i love these town cars so much uh, i really do and this one is just a phenomenal example uh, if you have any questions about this car, my name is Anthony, 978-930-1004. You can check me out on Instagram, Specialty Motorcars NH. My website, SpecialtyMotorcars.net. Tons of pictures of this car, all the information that you're going to want to see. A link to this video, price, all that stuff is on my website as well. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook as well. And if you do follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you would have seen that I got this car in just a few days ago. Or maybe a week ago by the time you see this. But you would have got that sneak peek. So definitely check me out there because you here on YouTube are now seeing the final product. That's where I usually put my final product uh, when it's for sale. So definitely check me out there and hit up that merch store. I want to thank everybody over the last uh, week, weekend that went to the merch store to take advantage of my Labor Day sale. Um, I can successfully say that you guys nailed it and hit it out of the park. And because of that, Papa Bear is getting a four day weekend this upcoming weekend so i totally appreciate it i know papa bear does as well price of this lincoln town car is going to be twenty thousand nine ninety five. i say that quickly it sounds like 29.995 29.95 uh, but basically twenty one thousand buys this car this guy was just behind me again thanks everybody for watching totally appreciate it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button uh, hit that like button it definitely helps me uh, and then drop a comment tell me what you think about this town car do you like the two-tone is it too much do you like the solid colors i mean i think this is a real special car but i like to hear what you have to say and uh like always papa bear loves the comments and he is that's like his daily job i gotta check my comments so say hi to papa bear down in the comments I know he'll appreciate it. Again, my name is Anthony 978-930-1004. We'll talk to you on the next one.